So hello and welcome people back to the second story in Nights into Dreams for the PlayStation 2. Don't call it a comeback. We thought we were done, but we're never done. We just keep playing games forever and ever. Yes. And here I wanted to, uh, well, sort of, I was, I was just uh, sort of checking if it didn't give me another opening after the, um, after having completed yeah, yeah, the yeah. game, just to make sure, but it doesn't. Uh, there is, in fact, there are, in fact, a lot of openings. Uh, f uh, well, what? three of them, in fact. I, I cut it out because I was uh, by that point I was sure it was the same thing. Uh, there yeah. is another opening which we're gonna see, and it is the uh, intro for the uh, for the Clara uh, Clarice story. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's not an opening. I thought <laughs> I was like, this is the same opening. Am I confused? Yeah, yeah. I gotcha. I was just making sure that one was exactly the same. This is like the uh, old HBO um, promo city. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Hold on. You know what I'm talking about? A little bit. Whoa. She got abducted by aliens! No- oh no, she's in front of Simon Cowell! He's very rude. Huh. Oh my goodness. Why is it- what? She's having an audition. For Job of the Hut. Had a baseball coach who was also a goblin. I mean, are they all? No, well, I don't know. I never played baseball. I mean, I played baseball, but I didn't play baseball. Oh, and then she died and went to heaven. Or to the night world in order to uh, jump through some hoops to help her in her real life. You know, these people's problems are super official. It's not like, it's not like, oh, my dad drinks a lot and beats my mom. It's like, well, I got you... dunked on, and the bullies won't let me play on the basketball court, or I have an audition coming up and I'm nervous. Yeah, but this is also a game made for kids, so, you know. Yeah, but kids can relate to, uh, you know, problems. Kids have problems. This is true, but also, this game does not really have any, uh, like, voice acting or means of conveying anything, uh, you know, I, I don't think it would really be necessary to uh, make make this a lot deeper than it is. What I'm saying is I want the edgelord dark version of Knights. But you still just go through levels uh, with with hoops and what have you. Oh yeah, 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 the, ga the gameplay is exactly the same. And, and the, the music. And the stages. And the yeah, just, just, just cutscenes are super, like, depressing. Yes. Now, the first, uh, when it comes to Claris, um, the, the starting stage uh, is exactly the same as... Um, uh, exactly the same as Elliot. However, the layout of, uh, of the stage itself is completely different. So the environment in which you find yourself is the same. But yeah, or, or the, at least incredibly similar, are, but, uh, where, but where other... the hoops are pieces and stuff like that. Yes, and also, um, uh, and also just the uh, well, all, uh, all of the other stages except for the last one, which actually is identical, but there is a reason for that. Um, because they're the same person. It's all about the the uh, search for personal identity. Exactly. And uh, all the other stages are actually completely different uh, visual-wise and like design-wise from Elliot's. And actually, and uh, also all of the music is completely different, which is uh, which I really appreciate. Uh, I do enjoy the music for this game too. You know, the last couple games we've done have had very solid music. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, it's, it's one of those things that you kind of expect from uh, from Sega for the uh, for the most part. They they barely ever made games which didn't have great music. Rolling around at the speed of sound, yes. got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow. Yes, and uh, there's only like one exception I can think of when it comes to a Sega game that didn't have good music. And it's a weird Sonic RPG made by BioWare. Yeah, that is a thing. And uh, the, the like, the weird thing about that Sonic RPG is that the, the game itself is actually very good, just that the music sucks super hard. Wow, those gusting wind effects come really hard to the right or left channel. Hmm. I uh, my headset like I could tell I... the gusts of wind were entirely in the right or entirely in the left. But anyway, um, I was hmm. going to say, follow me, set me free, trust me, and we will escape from the city. How many times have I sung that song on your channel? Like at least three. It, it, it yeah, that, 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 that sounds actually about exactly about right. Sorry, I I love that song. It is so um, good. <clears throat> I mean, pretty much, uh, 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 recently I've been, uh, like, at my friend's place, uh, they have a, uh, they have a VR set, I don't exactly know which one, but they, they recently bought a Beat Saber, and that was one of the first oh, songs we downloaded. Nice. Good taste, I approve. Um, and, uh, I, I, like, I'm, I suck at rhythm games, but uh, Beat Saber is actually really fun, even if you're... Uh, terrible at this, uh, these sorts of games. Yeah, that's that's. I, I, I like a bunch of rhythm games, but that is definitely a thing about all of them. They are very not noob friendly. When you're playing a beginner stage, they are very unfun. Even if like you can get through it, you're not having a good time. Yeah, and Beat Saber is uh, is sort of made so doing well is a lot of fun, but. Sucking at it, it does not it does not remove like not, does not make the experience. Uh, it it doesn't make you feel bad about yourself. What, you, because what is going What is going on? I'm running oh, out of time. You, wow, you made it with zero seconds left. Yeah, you can actually make it with less than zero seconds. Right, because you said that you just continue on your trajectory, and as yes. long as you hit it, you hit it. And as long as you hit it before you hit the ground, you're fine. We should do, um, uh, here, you've, you've done Dance Dance Revolution. Uh, I've, I've tried. Oh. I fucking love Dance Dance Revolution. I'm not good at it at all. I should really love it. Hmm. Uh, okay. Anyway, but, distractiveness but you, aside. But you like, um, uh, rhythm games. I, uh, I like them, but, uh, more, more or less to just watch them because, uh, because uh, like pre actually performing well in them is just uh, is like requires perfection. It it can be highly stressful at times. Uh, I love Osu, um, and I played Elite Beat Agents on my DS and mm -hmm. whatnot. Um, but uh, and you also uh, played Osu, so. Yes, and I've played a bunch of Osu. I haven't played much recently, but I used to play a ton of Osu. And uh, I did... Um, I used to have, like... I used to go to the arcade and play... Uh, not a long time ago, kind of like... Seven years ago or something. Right before I went to the Netherlands. Mm. I used to play some... D some, some DDR. Um, but, uh... I'm... I, 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 you know, I have music training. So I kind of do it. But I, oh, hey! Jeff asked me yes. if your speech patterns were more indicative of Polish or Nico. Which do you think it is? I think I'm English, more... I, I, think? I, I think I'm more... Like, speech patterns in what? In English. Because uh, in English, you say you have a lot of uh, uh, phrases and way of uh, phrasing that... Phrases and phrasing that uh, are not... You know, Native American, obviously, and not British or anything like that. And uh, Jeff was asking me that earlier. He was like, "Is that a Nico thing or a Polish thing?" And I'm like, "You know, I don't really know." 
Um, I, I, I would say like it's it's sort of uh, based uh, often just based on something that somebody just once said. But yeah, here I accidentally uh, went to a goal and see how weird the rating system is. Nah, because you're well. Two A's, B, average, and a C. Your average was like B plus, so you got an A. No, it doesn't actually work. The, the way it works is you can sometimes just get one A, all C's, and you'll still get an A. Well, maybe it's just about, like, they aren't actually the same. What is on uh, The thing is... Uh, is this what Star actually... Wars Episode One. Totally. Uh, but no, the, the thing is, uh, the, the ranks actually go higher than A, it just doesn't tell you that. Oh, I was gonna say maybe it's just because individual parts have di like our different proportion of the level. No, it's just that on certain points you can actually just get more. Um, uh, you can actually just get more uh, points. Gotcha. I like uh, that fish guy. The fish, flying fish dude. I mm -hmm. like him. And now he's done. This looks like the uh, Star Fox 64 underwater level, kind of. Yeah, it is very underwatery. Where did you? You did your beast. B for bad. <laughs> C for can't have dinner. D for don't <laughs> come back. A for acceptable. B for barely doctor. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why is how did Amy even got to the score screen with with that little? Because point? she's the fi the fourth most pos popular uh, Sonic character. I mean, in that order, yes, I can see why she's the fourth one. You really think Big the Cat's gonna be up there? This was before Big the Cat, so yeah. Yeah, but they still loved him. The creators, Sonic, Sonic team, they knew about him.